Hi everyone, I'm Jessie from Nauta NZ. Um, a lot of you will know that I started off my blog and now I have my YouTube and I've been trying to build that quite a bit. Um, so recently I've bought some lighting and audio setup and so this video is going to be all about that and also how I edit and what I use. So I hope you enjoy it. So recently I've made three big purchases which are my umbrellas, my ring light and my microphone. These three have been pretty monumental in helping me organise my YouTube and make it look a little bit more professional. It still looks like nothing compared to most people, but it's getting there. Um, so I'll just show you what I got. Also I got this camera, which is just a little cheap handy cam, but it does a job. Alright, so my ring light. It is really big. I'll put the dimensions down below. Um, it's something like 45 centimetres diameter, or I don't know, something like that. Um, it's really bright, which is why I've got this baking paper on it. I got the idea from Shen XO because she's essentially got the same setup as me. And um, so she said put baking paper on it, which I did. So I'm not sure how much you can tell on the camera, but it's really bright. And it makes these weird circles in your eyes, which really amused me when I first got it. Um, but I use this, what I do is I sit in this chair, my super sexy blue chair. And I stick my camera up there. This is when I'm talking to the camera, this is. And it kind of lights up my face better. Ah. Yeah, and normally I'd have my other two lights here and here, um, but they're not on right now, and I can never position them properly anyway. When I film for my tutorial, showing the actual nail part, I bend the light down like this, and I stick my tripod and camera over here and make it on an angle. It isn't really the best way, but it's the best I can come up with so far. So if anyone has any better ideas, let me know. I'm planning on getting an actual stand for this. Right now my dad just clamped it to the desk. Um, but eventually get a stand and change my, de change my desk around and that. Alright, so my umbrella lights are this one and this one. They've both got two bulbs in them, uh, 35 watt ones by the looks of it. And when I turn them on, it goes like that. And it sort of diffuses the light. I think you can use them both ways, but I've been using them like this way to light up something that's here. Um, when I position them, I'm just going to position them and show you. So for anyone who walks into my room when I'm filming, this is what it looks like normally. Um, so basically I've got my ring light here, I've got my two umbrella lights here, and I sit here. And what I do is I point the umbrellas, I know this way, towards the part I want to light up. Um, and it seems to do a pretty good job, but I need to change my whole background. But we'll get to that. I don't know, I'm not, I, I'm not really that good at photography in that, I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm just kind of messing around and I'll slowly get better. Same with nail art, really. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the lighting. They do help, and it's really good to be able to film at night time, too, because normally I'd have to film at, like, 2 o'clock was the ultimate time, but often I'm at work at 2 o'clock. So next I'm going to show you my microphone. It's a Samson one, not Samsung, Samson. Um, and I, I'll tell you where I go everything soon. But it's really, really nice. It's so amazing. Like, honestly, like, I was using this real crappy $20 thing from Dick Smith. And then I spent a bit of money and brought this, and it's just incredible the difference. So I really, really like it. It's my favourite thing I brought, actually, from this whole, my little spend up. So yeah, I'll sit there and paint my nails. And normally, can I just say, this isn't a plug, I promise. I just love this thing. This, I got, I went to this thing called The Social Games. It's kind of a long story. But um, it was like this radio promotion, and I got this free from it. And it was just, it's like the coolest thing I've ever had, honestly. It's just magic. It just plays, um music from your phone through Bluetooth and it's just really really good quality and so I sit here and paint my nails and listen to it and you know can't really complain that's lots of fun. Also whenever I paint my nails I have a whole bunch of nail polishes I use obviously and I used to just leave them out so when I wrote the blog post I could see what I used but then I got organized and um, now I write them down pieces of paper and stick them to my computer. Alright so now I'll get to how I edit. So <laughs> you're gonna laugh at the editing program I use but I just use Windows Movie Maker because it is free and super easy to use although my computer cannot handle it so after a while once I've got music and everything else going on it it just freaks out and sometimes it'll spares and close but it tends to save it so it's alright. So it's really easy to use. I'm not going to explain how to do it or anything because it's a whole different tutorial and I'm sure there's heaps out there ready for that. Um, but yeah just in case you're wondering that's what I use. Alright and this is how I edit my photos which is a big part of blogging obviously. So I've taken my photo, um, here are some I took my light box at some stage, these look gross, why are they so crappy? Oh here goes a better one. Um, and so say I use this photo here, and I tend what I do is go to 
this, this is just in Windows Photo Gallery, I think it is. Um, and so I just go here. It kind of crapped out a while ago and won't. It keeps going back to the viewing screen, not the editing screen. But so uh, it kind of annoys me now. But what I just do, this is really lazy. But all it does, all I do is um, click the exposure thing and take about one or two notches, so it's nice and bright. There. So I'm going to do it there. And that's all I do with this program. It's only a recent thing I've been doing actually. But you can see the difference there, it looks a lot brighter and it's nicer to look at. You can also crop for that program, but because it's being all weird and changing to the um, viewing screen, I've been doing Picar using Picasa for that. So I open up again, but this time I've got to open with Picasa because normally I use the other one as an auto thing. So edit in Picasa. Picasa is awesome. Um, I don't care. Um, Picasa is amazing because it's free and it's really easy and it's got heaps of little things. Um, I've been actually trying to crop it recently in a 6x4 shape, so maybe I will keep it how it was before. I'm not sure why, I just it's just my current thing. So there you go. Apply. And now it's the shape I want. Um, and you can add text with Picasa. Where is it? I don't know. I mean, here it is. I haven't used it for ages. So you just do that and you can type anywhere. Blah, 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 blah. And, Z. and then you can choose your font, and it's pretty easy, you can figure it out from there. But I like my text to be curved, so I am using um, Photoshop Elements 10, I think. I feel kind of bad just filming the screen, it's kind of budget, but I honestly have no idea how to do that cool thing where they have the screen on the screen, so sorry. Um, so I'm opening up my file in Photoshop Elements, and what I'm going to do now is get a little text box here. Um, right now it's just in yeah, horizontal um, and so I want to make sure my size is big enough which is here um, that should do for now, I can always stretch it and it's already in the right um, font I want so make a text box yeah, and nailed it in Z now I want it bigger so instead of changing the font size I'm just going to drag it because I'm a bit lazy and it is easier I don't know, I never know, because I quite like putting things here or at an angle, but then sometimes it's just too small then, and I'm really, really against people stealing my photos, so I tend to watermark the um, flip out of everything. So now I'm going to put my curved watermark in. Everyone asked about this, so listen up. So I click onto here, and I, hold on, so I right click onto here, go down to shape, then go up to here, oh, I'm just looking in the camera, I should probably look on the screen. Choose ellipse, which is apparently a fancy word for circle. Um, and then I go down to this is my font I use. I get all my fonts from, I think it's a thousand and one free fonts.com or something like that. Um, and then I choose a size, roughly about that. And what I do is I drag the mouse thing and make it about the right size. And I click on here and write dub dub dub. Dot nailed it in Z dot com. Oops, con com. Alright, so that's too small for my liking actually. So choose this drop down menu, not the other one. Uh, make it 48 then instead. Alright, so that's a better size. I don't want people not be able to see it. It is my blog. And just position it how you want it. You can use the arrow keys to go up and down. Um, and tick the green box. And yeah, and so if you want to change your opacity, you just go down here, but I'm going to leave it how it is. Um, now I want another one of those on my pinky finger, so I'm just going to duplicate the layer and drag it down here. Oops, I'm not following the camera very well right now. Alright, and that is how I watermark. Then I go save for web. And that's all for how I want it, so okay, that's in the wrong album, but whatever. So now we're going to add in another photo so I can show you a really easy way of adding on more watermarks, because screw doing that every single time. Oh, that's the same picture. Jeez. Okay, this is the unedited otherwise one, but um, what you do, let's see up here, there's this button. Click on it, click on the second one. And then you see both pictures on one screen. Click on the first picture, and over here you'll see all the stuff you've got in it, all the layers. I'm going to grab my mouse and click on the ones I want. 
Um, I held down the control key while doing that, by the way. And so now I've got these layers, which are to do with this picture, and I want them in this picture as well. So all I need to do is drag those selected layers across, and they are in that picture. And then all you've got to do is arrange them to fit the right that picture instead. But I'm actually keeping that picture, so bye. I'm keeping every of them actually. Alright, so that is how I edit. I think that's it. Okay, I hope that was somewhat helpful. Sorry if I don't actually use Photoshop Elements, but you should get it. It's actually a really good um, program and it's cheaper than normal Photoshops. Alright, so as you probably know, I am from New Zealand and so therefore there's not actually a lot of lighting stuff around, I thought. And so I watched Shan XO's video about where to, about her lighting setup and where to buy it and that. But um, I'm not sure if she actually brought all her stuff from eBay or not because it's it's twice the price on eBay than it is on Trade Me. So I was not prepared for this. It was going to cost me about eight or nine hundred dollars to buy everything I wanted off there. But um, instead, I brought it off Trade Me for half the price. So I brought this. Oopsies. Okay, I brought these from Trade Me for one hundred and fifty nine dollars, and it was. $14 for shipping, so $173 for both of these, which I thought was a really, really good deal. And in case you're wondering who I brought them from, it was someone called Photoshack. Um, so next I'll show you the ring light. This is the one I brought, and this is how I brought it off, someone called Photo Gear. Um, and I think it ended up being, must be $9 I paid, so like $158. Um, and that was pretty, I thought that was really good because it wasn't costing me about $400 for one of these from eBay. So, very good deal getting it for $158. So, yep, uh, photo here. Lastly, I bought this, which is from Beg's Music Store, I think. Well, it, the name is Beg's Music, so I assume it's the um, music store place. But yeah, that was how much? $135 um, plus. $8 shipping. This is all New Zealand money, by the way. So I hope this was helpful to some people. I know it's probably going to be quite a long video for me. I try to keep mine under like five minutes normally, but this will probably be a bit longer. But it does show you a lot of things, and I don't know, I think it should be useful. Especially if you're New Zealand and you want to find a cheap place to buy all this lighting stuff from. So I will put all the links to everything down below in the description box. Um, and yeah, can you please give this video a thumbs up so I know that you liked it, and also it helps get my video out there a lot more. Um, and if you aren't already, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you.